Well, we're, we're getting reports, uh, obviously, from people that they are, we're getting reports from people who have tried to rent cottages online and then arrive to find that they are either occupied or not a cottage rental at all. Uh, usually there is a legitimate address attached to the scam or to the original posting so that if you were to do just your basic research on a property, you would find that that property actually exists. Probably in reality doesn't match with the photos that are provided online. So we're definitely hearing from the people who are renting the cottages. And then we're hearing from the people who own those properties, who are becoming more unsettled by strangers showing up, uh, thinking that they've rented their cottage property, or sometimes it's not even a cottage, it's a, like a, their full-time residence. Um, so people will arrive with their families to check in and the owner knows nothing about it, of course, because they haven't put that property up for rent. So we're hearing from both sides. Um, very disappointing as a family to arrive to your cottage that you think you've rented in Muskoka for the week to find that you have to turn around and go home. So um, de definitely we're hearing from both sides and it's a pretty frustrating problem. Very scary for somebody living there to have strangers show up too. And, and probably those people are angry, first of all. And, and I mean, mm. that would cause tension for somebody that never put themselves in this place in the first place, right? One person called in to report that uh, she, she hadn't even been home. So she came home to find uh, a note or a letter on her door. And that's how she learned that somebody had been there to check to, to check in. Mm -hmm. And so that's pretty unsettling too, that somebody was on her property. She wasn't there and um, that this had occurred. So, yeah. So what's, well, I guess what's happening here, Sam, and how can people, um, how can people maybe avoid becoming victims of this crime? Mm -hmm. It, it, this isn't a new scam. It's There was a bit of a reprieve during the pandemic when the restrictions were in place on short-term rentals. So we didn't see much of it last year, but uh, certainly the resurgence this year. General rule of thumb, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So if it seems like an, like an amazing deal and you've been provided with images of this outstanding cottage property, then if it doesn't seem to fit, then those are just questions that you should ask. Not that in all cases, that's not a legitimate uh, rental, but um, that should be one clue that things aren't quite right. Uh, and doing your work, doing your homework, making sure that it's legitimate, making sure that it feels right. Um, like I said, often there is a legitimate address attached to, to the listing. So simply Googling the address might not be enough reassurance. You can check in with local uh, real estate agents. One of our complainants was a real estate agent who found his own listing being listed by someone else. And that was a scam. So just taking that extra time to do the work and make sure that it's legitimate or using a reputable um, agency that deals in vacation rentals. So the majority of these issues that arise are from Kijiji. Um, the monitoring of that uh, may not be as reliable as some other um, agencies that look after rentals locally. So that was my other question. Where would people generally find these? You're saying Kijiji. Is it possible that people might find these things on Facebook as well? Probably other online marketplaces. I don't want to single it right down to only Kijiji. It's just such a very popular uh, online resource. Mm -hmm. So you could find them in other ungoverned um, marketplaces as well. So, you know, you're making a good point. Obviously, Airbnb is probably the best one to stick with or one of these other reputable, uh, you know, rental sources, right? I don't want to, I don't want to plug anyone, <laughs> but but go to a reputable source where you know that um, the information that you're receiving is legitimate.